Here we, here we, here we, here we go. Where did I go? I went over there. Yeah. Or was it over there? I, I kind of get confused with this uh, podcast, podcast, pitcast, sitcast, soapcast. Get on with it. All right. Cast. Right. It's the J Soccer Magazine cast, and this was the first ever issue. And I'm here with the president. I will call you Mr. President when I remember. But it's all about the contents of this very magazine. Are you going to tell us about it? We've got Endo there, and uh, I don't recognise this guy. And oh, I, I, I should. Who's Sammy? Bayern Munich. So is there is there much about these two in, in the magazine, or are they just uh, there to? J Soccer Magazine issue one, attractive. almost one year old now. We had an uh, interview with Yasuhito Endo and Takashi Usami of Gamba Osaka. There we go, and we had some nice little signed articles and cards from them as well, little presents. It was very nice, it was good timing because uh, Endo was playing well for the national team of course and Usami was just about to head to Bayern Munich. Who wow. knows where he's going to head next though? So oh, sorry, um, yeah. no, sorry yes, 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 there you go, that's Jay Soccer Magazine issue one. And you've got, just moving on to Jay Soccer Magazine issue two, because in Jay Soccer Magazine issue one, You've got you've got something about this guy, Hidari. I, I do it? actually. I have him down as a, uh, as, a as a rising son of Japan, Taranari Lee. Uh, why do I keep calling him Hidari? Is it Hidari? Hidari, Hidari Lee. Hidari as actually means left. So you know. Oh, got, okay. Yeah. He's got a decent left foot, I suppose. So you can call him Hidari, can't you? Well, I saw his debut actually. I thought I'd just throw this in. I was happened to be at Millwall mm -hmm. for a change, and uh, and then this guy came on the pitch and got a lot of stick off the fans. He ran around like a mad thing, like a train. Maybe that's where the Hidari left-sided train came in and um, didn't really achieve a lot unfortunately but the Southampton fans seem, seem to love him. They seem to love him. Yeah. Back in issue one we called him Japan's rising sun and I basically said well there you go what did I say Lee in his prime he may feel the time is right to take a chance in Europe. Scouts watching him in recent weeks should be impressed and what do you know off he went to Southampton and uh, yeah he's done all right unfortunately he's uh, He's done his metatarsal right now, so he's, he's done his out. metatarsal. He's, he's done his out metatarsal. He's probably yeah. out for the rest of the season, um, the short season that's left. But uh, he's done enough, and I think Southampton have also done enough to to get the uh, promotion that they need already. I hope I'm not. Uh, and I see. It. <laughs> and I see you. You made are these predictions on this page. You got yes, these. they are. And did you get many right? I don't know. Shall we have a look? <laughs> this could be funny. <laughs> Let's have a look. Right. Avispa Fukuoka. Uh, mm. They will need a lot more than that point to get. Yeah, J2 bound. Yes, you, okay, I got, called, I got that one. Right. That one right. Okay, okay. Sanfrecce Hiroshima. Even with the loss of Mekino, the fans will be hoping for a top three finish. Afraid <coughs> not there. See. Can Vissel's long suffering squad become decent? Yes, they, they actually finished top ten. Well. Gamba Osaka will. Oh, be you really sat on the fence with that. Only time will tell. <laughs> Well, no, yeah. Usami, no, I said that's oh. about Usami. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Will Usami feature heavily at Gamba Osaka? But we pretty much knew he was going there. Uh, who did we go for? Uh, well, let's see who who won the league, and let's see if we said whatever we said about them. Uh -huh. Oh, whoa, oh, what about that? Will surprise a few J League watchers and could top of J1, although a long way to go yet. Oh. I can't believe I did that. Wow. I, uh, I almost, uh, yeah, well. You almost got it. And in fact, this year I'm, I've uh, been tipping FC Tokyo to win the league. Wow. And they're also just uh, promoted from J2. And what about the other contents of this? What, what else have you got that's exciting? Yosuke Kashiwagi? Yosuke Kashiwagi is another rising sun. He's playing for Urawa Reds right now and he's mm. probably uh, got his eye on a move overseas. But I believe that he would stay nicely, very well, if he stays at Reds. Reds have got a big future ahead of them if they can keep. Kashiwagi and uh, Abeyuki, and if they can keep Makino is over here on loan right now, and the coach Petrovic is a mega star as opposed to last year's Petrovic, <laughs> it gets complicated. But uh, too many Petroviches yeah. for me to be dealing with. And we have a look at Naoki Yamada, who is also featured on the back there, also for Reds. Unfortunately, he's done his cruciate ligament, so he's out for the season. But he's a really good player, and uh, we also looked at. Atsuto Uchida, who's playing in Schalke with Raul, and uh, he's an ex excellent uh, right back. And there was a very interesting article, um, probably my favourite, and certainly my favourite picture, um, about some uh, Division uh, J2 team uh, from an island. This one, the J2? island life. Not even in J2. Not on J3. FC Ryukyu are in the JFL. Oh, JFL. Okay. Uh, as it says there, as the a title. Yeah. Yes, but, but there's some picture. lovely pictures of the, of the cheerleaders that they have mm. there. 
So if you're into cheerleaders, uh, yes, yeah. you should get yourself issue one. Yes. John Potter, who lives down in, in Okinawa, lucky man, mm. gave us the rundown on FC Ryukyu. It's very nice. So, uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. there's also some stuff about Pixie. Pixie? Not, little... pix, not Pixie lot. So don't get excited, guys. But A little this Pixie, kind of Pixie. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever meet this particular Pixie? Regularly. In the bottom of your garden? Regularly. <laughs> Dragon Stokovic is uh, mm. he's not afraid of saying his, you know, saying what he feels and speaking his mind, <laughs> and mm. uh, he's a very interesting guy to talk to. Didn't we actually sit in his hot seat once? Yes, terrorists. we did. We did. We were very naughty. Naughty we, we, was wise. We sat down uh, in his uh, little press seat before he got there and took pictures, didn't we? Yeah, I wonder whose idea that was. Who's a naughty boy? Right. So, um, nothing else to say about this magazine other than, other than get it, get it, read it. As I keep saying, I think J Soccer Magazine issue three, issue two, and issue one still available. Six hundred yen each, uh, eight hundred yen each within Japan. Uh, but buy all three, and no extra postage overseas. It's a little bit heavy. How about I'll make you a special offer, my son? Come on in, let's hear it. Six hundred yen for three. That's eighteen hundred yen plus postage, about twenty-three hundred yen. As I've said in a previous podcast, vidcast, Jcast. 1500 yen the lot. Give me 1500 yen for the lot, including postage, and I will send you all three J Soccer magazines. I'll tell you what, Gov. Anywhere in the world. I'll give you this receipt. Thank you very much. I'll consider it a done deal. I'm taking these on with me. Take them with you. Take right. them back to London. Talk please. A L A N, Alan, at jsoccer.com to get your special offer on J Soccer magazine issue 1, 2, 3, and I'll send you the PDFs as well. Whoa, can't get fairer than that, can you? And don't forget, visit the Loose Cannon. The loose cannon dot co dot uk. Not co dot co dot co dot co dot uk. The loose cannon dot co dot uk. Joe. www dot jsucker dot com. Alan. Thank you. And we're gonna we're gonna wind it up now and say bye. Lingual.